Okay, in this video I'm going to explain how you can put a GIF inside an iMovie and also put a GIF within that GIF and I'll show you what I mean. Firstly, let's open up iMovie, command spacebar to get the finder up. Okay, we want to make a new iMovie so I'm going to click on here and choose movie now I want to find some GIFs. Of course it's possible to make your own GIFs. There's a lot of useful GIF makers online but I'm going to look for my own. I'll type in GIF Picard Face Palm for the famous Captain Picard Face Palm GIF. We'll go for images and I think this might be a suitable one. So I'll, you can see straight away it shows the ones which GIFs in the bottom left corner. So I'll click on that and then two finger click it or yeah and then you can save image as which should put it in your downloads you may need to choose downloads from the menu just call it Picard so I don't get it confused with my next gif okay and we want Picard to be reacting to something so we're going to have to look for something for Picard to react to and I'll type in a gif again okay I think this one here is gif so I will two finger click here and I'll say save image as and I'll type in the name so I don't lose it save that okay so I've got my two gifs and they're both in my downloads now I just need to use finder once again to open up my downloads and I just need to drag them to where it says import media got a collection of different GIFs um, I'll bring this one in first if it doesn't work there you can just click on this symbol and from here you can navigate to where your downloads folder is and I want to bring in these two import selected okay now they're within my iMovie. Now I want the longer one to go first so I'm going to drag this one down and this will be the main scene and then within that scene I want Picard to appear so I'm going to drag and release over here towards the end of the main video. So you want to change the settings a little bit so Picard appears within the bigger picture so that means you want to do picture in picture okay and then you can choose where Picard shows. Okay so let's go back to the start and give it a run. So we're just about done. Um, if you're unfamiliar with iMovie, of course, if you wanted to bring save this project somewhere, um, you just go File and Share and then say click on File and then it should automatically share it. For example, on your desktop, if you press Save. Just remember it doesn't happen instantly. It'll take a while and you can follow this little circle up here and gradually as the circle changes from white to grey it means that, yeah, as you can see up there, it means the project's been saved now and you can just go to show.